Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of The Greatest Gifts. This is a show where we feature short stories about the power of personal gifts. I'm Jamie Shibley, the CEO of The Expressory, your relationship building concierge. And today I have with me Mike Raber with Sensible Solutions. Hello, Mike. Hello. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? Very good. Thanks. It's great to be here. Oh, I'm so glad to have you. Thank you for uh, agreeing to share with me uh, a story about a gift uh, that is pretty meaningful to, to you. I know Mike and I go uh, back to when I first started my business, and what I've always loved is that you have some great relationship building stories. And um, so I'm really looking forward to hearing what kind of gift what have you received that is standing out for you? Wonderful. And it was actually very good timing because though I have received, like most of us out there, multiple personal business gifts throughout the time, lately, well, in the last couple of weeks, I received one gift in the mail that the story behind it made it not only personal, but business and kind of reached me at a far more heartfelt level than I would have otherwise thought. Wow. And then you're invite came in. So it's a perfect time for that as well. I'm all about timing for those of yes. you who I haven't yet to meet. It's funny how that all works, right? Yes. So what do you got? All right. The, um, well, the, I guess the backstory on that was for those, again, who I have not yet had the pleasure to meet, I've been working on a very large vision for most of my life. And people kept telling me it's not going to work, da, da, da. Just like all of us, we have a dream, we go for it, and then you have the naysayers out there. Yeah. And I kept focused on that dream. And I know with time and faith, all things are possible. So I kept working towards it. Anyway, I had about two weeks ago, a series of things that I had foreseen going one way and they went the opposite. Hmm. And it made me start to doubt what I was doing. Okay. And am I fooling myself? Am I imagining things or is the reality behind all of this? And literally 10 minutes off of get, after getting off of this call, which went sideways, and kind of having that pity party. And <laughs> I discovered in life, it's okay to have those pity parties, but keep it short. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was into this five-minute pity party, then I went downstairs. And actually, you know, my wife brought the mail up from downstairs. And okay. there was this envelope in the mail. And inside the envelope was this book, The Carrot Seed. And it was so funny because... I had no idea where it came from. It was just this magical book that appeared out of nowhere from Amazon. It's like, okay, I don't think Amazon's sending me free gifts. So where did it come from? Right. And why a children's book? What an odd thing right. gift-wise right. to get. So I pick it up and I start looking at it. Then I kind of read through page after page after page. And I tell you, I never would have thought it's possible to get emotional over a children's book. Oh. But it is. As I got the last page, I'm finding myself starting to tear up. It's like, whoa. And basically, the ens essence of the book was this little boy wanted to raise a care, wanted to grow a care, and he put the seed in the ground. Everybody kept saying it's not going to work, and he continued to um, weed around it and water it and take care of his little seed, and eventually grew. Oh, no to this mass panel and the fact that I had no idea where it came from. Now I did find out later where it came from, but at the time I didn't know that. So A, it answered, it's kind of like a sign to me that yes, I am still on track. It's not in my imagination. I just have to listen to my own advice and stay faithful, be trust in the process yeah. and continue to weed around my little seed and water the seed. And yes, eventually it will transform into this amazing, well, in his case, carrot plant, in my case, a business. And even within the last two weeks, I've seen sprouts come up in directions I would have never thought would happen. So not to get off on a tangent, but the point of the gift was it was such a simple gift and it was actually for a retreat that I was good part of. Okay. They sent it out to the members as a thank you for registering for the retreat. It was like a thank you gift. So it showed up after. Yeah. Is this it, well, it showed up right before the retreat. Oh, but because it showed up anonymously, oh, okay. they announced at the retreat, oh, by the way, we hope you got the book. That's from us. I was like, oh, but of course, because it's who kind of people they are. 
So yeah. once again, the power of the gift, and that's why when you asked me to share the story, I thought it's a cool story was a gift can bring value to the recipient, can bring value to us in multiple ways. Far more than the giver realizes. And so what I love about that story, I mean, there's just so many things. So what you just demonstrated first, okay, from an event standpoint, I, I get a lot of questions about, you know, do you recommend giving things at an event? Like what types of things? And the guidance I always give to um, event producers, planners, whatever it may be, you want to leave people with or show up afterwards with something that um, reminds them of, triggers the thing you're teaching them, the thing you taught them, because you want people to stay in it. And so your retreat focused on the possibilities and the growing, right? And mm -hmm. staying in it. And so this thing very much related to um, the purpose of that retreat, and it's going to remind you to continue those efforts well afterwards, and you'll always remember them for that. Mm -hmm. But secondly, even deeper, you know, future milestones are one of my favorites um, when it comes to giving. If you can select a gift um, for the recipient that represents what's to come for them, I mean, that is huge because you are going to have that book, my guess is, for a very long time until you are successful in your business, in your vision, and then because it happened, even well after that would be my guess. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be on a shelf, not just a bookshelf tucked away somewhere, but it will be on a shelf where I can see Blaine. it as a reminder. Keep watering, keep weeding. This is so wonderful. I love that. And it's so, it is so simple. I mean, that's the thing that people don't realize is just the smallest thing, right, can bring so much. Look at what that did to you. <laughs> yeah. For you. For you. That's so, so true. cool. And it's so cool too, like you said, by anchors, because one of the gifts I got from you actually a while ago was those little seesaw chocolates that you yeah. give out to your clients and for us to give to our clients. Yeah. And to this day, even though it's a little teeny piece of chocolate, every time I see a seesaw sea chocolate, yeah. I think of you in the express oh, Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope you still don't have it. <laughs> no, I ate it right away. It didn't last long. But the memory I have. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this is fantastic. Thank you for sharing that one. I'm so, this is great. Um, can you tell us a bit about what you do with Sensible Solutions and maybe, maybe your vision? What's that seed? What's that carrot seed you're planting, Mike? The carrot seed is, well, Sensible Solutions is a wealth and business architect in that we work with small business owners and help them, in essence, bring, bring sensible solutions to everyday business and life. So we figure out what that business is trying to accomplish, what their why is, why they're in business, and then we give them the resources through a virtual training program we design and mentors, coaches, et cetera, that we've organized and brought together, the resources to grow their business. And kind of the vision is taking, on one half you have the mentors, the experts, yeah. The other hand, you have the business people, the yeah. individuals that have, might have a need or a solution, a need or a challenge that they're trying to overcome. And oftentimes in business, we are trying to figure it all out ourselves. And yeah. it can be a very hard, frustrating, inexpensive process. What the Sensible Solutions goal is, is to take the experts and the person with the challenge and figure out who best has the solution and then connect it to it together and facilitate the environment, and yes. facilitate the experience. So the business owner is continually able to grow and become better at what they do and serve the clients at a deeper level, the relationship, the gift, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, as they progress through the experience, we then bring in another mentor and another mentor until good. they have all the resources they need. Right, which is that connection piece is what you're so good at. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, um, a rapid fire question for you. What was the last surprise you received in the mail? This book. The book. <laughs> it was, yes, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. That's great. 
Oh, well, this is so fun. Thank you so much for being here. Um, to everyone watching, I hope that this has given you some inspiration for selecting memorable gifts of your own and putting that um, the, the goodness, that kindness out into the world. Because um, look at the kind of things you can um, spark for people. Uh, and uh, as usual, if you would like to find more examples of this, our conversations in The Greatest Gifts can be found on YouTube under the expressory and as always uh, at the expressory we are more than happy to help you with those ideas should you be interested in that conversation you can email us at info at the .com. until next time thank you so much thank you everyone <laughs>